Our next prepared speaker is Mr. John Morris. He's delivering a speech that would ordinarily be introduced by the speaker's name, the title of his speech, the title's name, and the speaker's name repeatedly. Consequently, our next speaker is John Morris, The Unmasked Truth. The Unmasked Truth, John Morris. Madam Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters, we have been bombarded with a high-tech propaganda from all sources telling us to wear a mask during COVID-19. And here it is. We've been told to wear it while we go outdoors, wear it indoors, while we eat, while we sleep. They even talk about wearing it in the swimming pool when we swim. Tonight, I hope to unmask the truth. What you're about to hear is just that. Five reasons to reject the hyperculture or the unmasking of mask hysteria. Reason number one, masks destroy the individual. There are two people in this room, unique individuals, myself and Stephen Villavicencio. Look at these whiskers we've grown. It has taken me five months to grow these whiskers. Do I want them covered with a mask? No, I want to be an individual. I want to be like Stefan. As a matter of fact, I've designed my own whisker mask just for that purpose. Although I don't think it's particularly great. There it is. There's my, can you see it? My whisker mask. Yes. Not quite as good as the real thing. That's reason number one. Reason number two, bad people wear masks. Masks are worn by bank robbers. As a matter of fact, I will ask you, has anyone in this entire Zoom group been robbed at gunpoint by a person not wearing a mask? I doubt it. No one. No one. This doesn't happen. Bad people wear masks. Bank robbers wear masks. If you don't want to be a bank robber, don't wear a mask. I have never robbed a bank without a mask. That proves that bad people wear masks. Reason number three. The truth is this. When we breathe, we breathe in oxygen. When we exhale, we throw out carbon dioxide, CO2, and all those bad air. That's not good for you because it recirculates inside the mask and you keep breathing in bad air. Scientists have called this, they've given it a scientific term, it's called bad air suck up. And they've run a laboratory experiment, I wanna show you it. Look at this guy, can you see him? He has a mask on. Look at that, look at that laboratory mouse. He has a mask, and he's almost dead. Look at his tail, limp. He doesn't have much life left in him. And the fact of the matter is that when scientists finally evaluate and check out his entire body functions, they will have to answer the question, did he die from COVID-19 or did he die from bad air suck up? I suggest to you, masks create bad air suck up. The fourth reason is that we are creating a mountain of masks. Consider the facts. There are 330 million people in this country. If everybody wears a different mask every day and throws one away, we have billions and billions and billions of expired masks. And where do they go? They go to landfill. They create a mountain the size of Mount Washington. All bad masks. 
Or, for example, you may decide that what you do with your bad masks is to throw them in the ocean, just like you throw the plastic plates and all that. They all conglomerate into an island and bad masks will create an island the size of Rhode Island. Do we want islands the size of Rhode Island? Do we want mountains the size of Mount Washington? All of them made from bad masks. No, we don't. That's reason number four. And reason number five is this. We are creating a fashion statement. I've got one here. Look at this for high fashion. That's a high fashion mask right there. You can see it. We are creating all of these high fashions here today, gone tomorrow. This will be history. This will go into the, into the trash heap of history in just a few months, and we can rush it along by giving up our masks. As a matter of fact, I personally have used the mask as an advertising tool at a speech contest I recently gave, and I subliminally used a message on the front of my mask, vote for Morris, he's a funny dude. And what the heck, you know? Apparently, it didn't work because I didn't come in first. However, I think the only problem was I didn't flash it enough times. Maybe if I had flashed it two or three times, people would have gotten the message. All of these five things, all of these five create a scaffolding of reasons to deny us and deny the use of masks and end mask hysteria. Smokey Bear said only you can prevent forest fires. The very same thing can be said about mask hysteria. If you want to be an individual, if you don't want to be a bank robber, if you want to not breathe bad air and not be a victim of bad air suck up, if you don't want to be a Madison Avenue prop, give up your masks. Remember Smokey Bear, only you can prevent mask hysteria. Madam Toastmaster. 